So here's one more quick tip to add to your stagecraft repertoire, your acting arsenal, and that is never cry, never sigh. What does that mean? How do I put that into action? I thought you'd never ask. Hi, I'm Scott. You're watching Inside Musicals, the channel for all things musical theatre. Now, I can't claim credit for this idea. This comes to me by way of Emma Thompson, by way of advice that she was given. I'm just paying it forward. Now, audiences are obsessed with that scene in Love Actually. You know the one I mean. Emma Thompson, alone in a room, crying. So already I hear you saying, aha, she broke her own rule. And besides, crying and sighing are a natural part of human expression, which of course they are. But the problem with crying and sighing in performance is that they release emotional tension, both for the character and for the audience. Crying dissipates it, sighing deflates it. And in most stories, we want to keep the emotional tension on the boil until an opportune moment, a crisis point of some kind. And that's exactly how it happens in Love Actually. That crying scene is more than just that performance. It's the culmination of scenes that come before. It's the Joni Mitchell track underneath. It's the stoicism of the character as she rallies to put on a happy face for her family. And because that situation between her and her husband is unresolved, the tension remains in spite of her crying. So in that case, it was the opportune moment. So strictly speaking, maybe the tip is not so much never cry, never sigh. It's never cry, never sigh. Till you find the opportune moment, then milk it for all it's worth. But that's not so catchy. But it is especially important in film where you're shooting out of sequence over weeks or months, and it's harder to keep track of these things. Because even if you only cry or sigh once on each shooting day, once it's edited, it can look like that's all your character does. And it weakens the character because it loses its potency with each repetition. So here's the trick. Make the moment count. That would have been a much better title for this video. So here's how we make it work. Identify the climactic moment of emotional catharsis for your character, where it might be warranted to cry or sigh, then work backwards from there. So prior to that point, if the impulse is to cry or sigh, acknowledge the instinct, but make a different choice. Make it matter. Make it interesting. So if the impulse is to sigh, try the opposite. Maybe an intake of breath, bolster yourself, puff yourself up. If the instinct is to cry, maybe laugh. <laughs> or get angry, or interrupt. Put on a happy face. And maybe only the audience notices that it's a cover-up. And this same thing applies to anger, when it's overplayed. When you lose your cool constantly, it loses its impact. Look what Meryl Streep does in The Devil Wears Prada. It's that cold, controlled, softly spoken rebuke that's so unsettling because it's unexpected. In any minute, we're expecting her to snap, but she doesn't, so that tension stays on the boil. But if you're ever lost for ideas of how to transform the cry of the side, try renaming the character's action. So instead of uh, resignation, try defiant, indignant, deflective, defensive, Anything with a D in it, apparently. It's only limited by your imagination, and that's what you can explore in rehearsal. Now, of course, there are always exceptions. I mean, maybe your character is constantly weeping, and their moment of catharsis is when they stop crying. Either they're cried out, or they no longer have the need to cry. But for the most part, the idea is to hold it together as long as you can. Think of how effective Liam Neeson is in Schindler's List. Oscar Schindler is an inscrutable businessman who favours business over feelings. So by the end of the film, when he finally breaks down, saying, if only I could have saved more people, it's moving for the audience because something has shifted within him. He earned the moment. He made the moment count. Or in other words, as Emma Thompson said to Liam Neeson in Love Actually, no one's ever going to want to shag you if you cry all the time. Now there's a life lesson right there. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I do love you. Hope you found this useful. Now get out there. Be brilliant.